You know, you are this infinite being with an infinite amount of energy, of space, and of consciousness. You have a body. And your body is a receiving organ. It's receiving information from everyone all the time. Right? I know that you've probably, if you've listened to my radio show for any amount of time, if you listen to any of my programs, anything that I do, you've probably heard me say that seven million times, maybe even more. I really want you to feel that today. I really want you to feel that your body is a receiving organ, receiving information all the time. You know, this reality has taught you that when you feel something, right, you have to identify it and then you have to make it yours, right? If you, if you feel uh, a pain in your head, then all of a sudden you have to hold your head and say, oh, my head hurts. But what if your head doesn't really hurt? If you're just aware of something. You know, so often we are aware of things all day long. We are aware of feelings. We are aware of uh, emotions. We are aware of uh, maybe even energies within our body. And we automatically identify those as us. There's something wrong with us. There's, um, there's something you're aware of, not aware of. There's something that you're feeling, right? I'm feeling sad. All of a sudden, you know, you're, you're going along and you feel really sad. And then all you're telling everyone, oh, I just feel really sad. I don't know why. I just feel really sad. If you don't know why you're feeling something, is it possible that it's not a feeling at all? That it's just an awareness. We are in an amazing time of transformation right now. This world is shifting and changing. And there are so many paradigms, so many forms and structures within, especially the emotional paradigms that are crumbling right now. If you know anything about even what's going on right now in the world, if you're paying attention at all, today's July 30th, 2019, right? All kinds of things are coming to the surface. All kinds of things are being exposed. There is desperation energy all over this world right now. There's sadness, there's grief, there's upset. There's people going through some very, very, very traumatic ordeals, right? So would it be possible that if you're just feeling sad and you don't really know why, could it be possible that you're just aware of the sadness that's existing on this planet right now, that you're just aware of all of the things that people are going through because your body is a receiving organ, receiving information from everyone all the time. The people you work with, the people you see on a daily basis, the people you surround yourself with are going to be some of your key receivers. Those are going to be some of the key people that you are going to be closest to. That's going to be the hardest for you to even see that you're receiving information from, that you're tangled within. So an awareness is just information. It's just information. When I look at someone, I instantaneously receive awarenesses about what's going on for that person, what that person is experiencing right now in life, what that person is going through, okay? It's just my cycle of judgment, right, wrong, good, bad, that 
makes what they are experiencing obviously right or wrong, good or bad, right? But if I don't, if I don't function in judgment, which is my favorite way to live, no functioning in judgment, right? At no judgment. There's no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. It's all just, just experiences, just choices, just, just ways to live, right? So when I look at someone, I, I'm aware of everything that that person is going through. Now, some of it's not cognitive awareness. Some of it's not always a conscious awareness. But your body is receiving the information whether you're conscious of it or not. The more and more polarity that you have on a subject. So let's say if you have always experienced a lot of uh, sadness or grief in your life. Maybe you've been subject to a, a lot of abuse, verbal abuse, mental abuse, which is so common, right? So many of us have spent this lifetime being mentally and physically abused. So when you when you have been in that that place, and and I can personally say, I have lived there. I totally get it. Okay. There's a certain filter of judgment, but there's also a lot of form and structure around those concepts. Okay, so the more form and structure I have, the more uh, filter of judgment I have around it, whether I think things are good, bad, right, or wrong, right? So when I see someone, I'm going to filter what they're going through through my form and structure, my polarity around uh, the experience. So oftentimes you may not even realize what you are taking on with that person because it's going through all of your systems and in, in constructs around the same issue, right? But what's happening is you're feeling that in your body. And so your body starts producing the same chemicals, the same reaction as if you personally are going through that very same thing right this very moment. And then you start to feel sad. And you start to feel depressed. And you start to feel anxious and all of these things that this person is experiencing as well. But instead of realizing you're just having an awareness of an experience that they are having, you automatically identify it as a feeling that you are feeling currently, even though you have no reason to cognitively be feeling that. You know, some of the key indicators that you are in an awareness besides a feeling is heaviness, okay? So if you're feeling heavy, if you're just feeling so hard, like life is feeling so heavy and so hard, more than likely you are functioning in awareness instead of feelings, okay? And what I mean by that is, okay, so every single choice in your life creates something, okay? every single choice. So you're walking down the street and you perceive something and um, all of a sudden you're really angry and you get home and like you're just mad. And everyone's like, geez, why in the world are you so angry right now? And you're like, I don't know why I'm angry. I'm just mad, right? And you start identifying with feeling angry. Okay, so when you start identifying with something, you choose it, whether it's a conscious choice or an unconscious choice. When you start claiming and owning something and you start saying, I'm angry, right? I'm mad. I don't know why, but I'm angry, right? What, what, you, what you do is 
you tell the universe with those words, with those feelings, with those actions, that you are angry, then angry becomes your choice. Now, I know we all don't feel like anger is a choice oftentimes, right? I'm sure um, there was a time in my life where I functioned in a space where I didn't feel like anger was a choice. I didn't feel like sadness was a choice. I didn't feel like depression was a choice. I get it. And this is, this is where the, the common denominator is. Is the claiming and owning of feelings and emotions that don't belong to you. If you are ever feeling a feeling and you don't have a reason to feel that feeling, just comes on suddenly. Um, all of a sudden you just feel angry. All of a sudden you just feel sad. All of a sudden you just feel mad. All of a sudden you just feel um, guilty, right? I mean, it's so common, right? You're watching TV. You're watching uh, uh, a show on TV and you're, you start feeling all of these feelings that the actors are feeling, right? And it becomes difficult because all of a sudden you feel guilty, you feel shameful, you feel this, you feel that. Just an awareness. It's just an awareness. I'm going to say that again. It's just an awareness. You can go, oh, I watched that show and now I'm feeling all guilty. And you can start looking at your life and all of the reasons that you should feel guilty and all of the terrible, awful uh, things that you did that you feel guilty about. And you can start claiming and owning and you can start tangling yourself in this heavy, 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 hard box of upset or you can watch that tv show and go oh wow that actor was feeling really guilty Whew. oh that actor is feeling you know or that character is feeling very shameful or that that person driving that car next to me is very angry wow or that a person in the grocery store is very sad. Now, what happens here is people start claiming and owning these feelings. Claim and own, claim and own, claim and own, claim and own, right? And all of a sudden, they're invoking all of these feelings into their body. And then they, you know, weeks go by, months go by, years go by. And they're, they're stuck in a depression. And, and again, I've been there. I know what that feels like. And all of a sudden, they don't know anymore what's theirs. And that might really be yours, where you're at. You might not know anymore what's yours and what's not. And how to deal with all of this heaviness that you feel in your life. And, and what's really, truly the difference between an awareness that you're having or an actual feeling that you're feeling in your life. I'm going to go back to, if you're just having awarenesses, you often will feel like you don't know why you feel this way. You don't know why you feel sad. You don't know why you feel overwhelmed. You don't know why you feel um, covered and upset. Maybe you don't use those exact words, right? If you're, if you're feeling that way in your life right now, it's because you are an aware being, having awarenesses all day long. Everyone you come into contact with, you are aware of their problems. You are aware of their upsets. And again, I'm going to go back to what comes first, the chicken or the egg? Are people as a whole really depressed or are they just aware of the suppression energy that we have been dealing with on this planet. You guys, we have to go so much bigger. We have to realize that 
we are aware beings having an experience. The awareness is that you're having about sadness and depression, and you may never even know who those belong to because they might not belong to anybody. They might even just belong to the earth. Just think about that for a moment. What if not only that you are aware of all of the people around you, but what if you are aware of what's going on right now with the earth? What if you are aware of all of the frequencies that are getting downloaded onto this planet at a massive rate? These energies of suppression. What happens when, as a society, we're all chronically depressed? What happens when you have a society of people who are chronically depressed? People don't go out and do great things. People don't rise up. People don't create in their lives when they feel chronically depressed. You are listening to the show right now. I am telling you that you are a powerful creator. Having awarenesses so fast that you can't even cognitively, consciously comprehend how much you are aware of.